Look at your hand. You perceive yourself as a biological object moving through time, born in the past, moving toward death in the future. But this is a lie. Physics suggests that you are not the object, you are the observer, and the observer cannot observe its own absence. This means, from your perspective, you might be mathematically incapable of dying. In 1957, Hugh Everett proposed the many worlds interpretation. He argued that every time a quantum event has two possible outcomes, it doesn't choose one, it chooses both. In Universe A, the car hits you. In Universe B, the car misses. To your mother in Universe A, you are dead. But your consciousness cannot exist in a dead brain. So, instantly, you snap to Universe B. You never see the darkness. You only ever see the darkness. You only ever see the path where you survived. Let's take this to its terrifying conclusion. Imagine you play Russian roulette. Click. You survive. Click. You survive. The odds of surviving 50 times in a row are mathematically impossible. But you must be there to experience the survival. To the outside world, you are a statistical miracle. To yourself, you are trapped in a probability tunnel where the gun never works. You try to leave, but the universe won't let you. This is not a gift. It is a curse. Quantum immortality guarantees consciousness, not health. You will experience the timeline where you survive the accident, but you are paralyzed. You will experience the timeline where you outlive everyone you love. You will watch the stars burn out. You will see the heat death of the universe. And you will still be there, floating in the void, the last conscious observer, unable to close your eyes. You are not immortal because you are special. You are immortal because you have nowhere else to go. Welcome to the prison.